make it a bit more sporty on my white trainers. I'm adding this. Honestly. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. And I'm very excited because I thought it has been a long time since I did a proper outfits video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all of my favorite current outfits. So these outfits I have really been wearing over the past couple of weeks. And I'm just so excited to wear them pretty much all around the season. I've thrown in together some like very casual everyday running errands outfits and then some that are more dressy. So hopefully there is going to be something for any occasion and for anyone of you. If you're new to my channel today, I am Anna and I post fashion styling videos every single week on my channel. So if you do not want to miss any of my upcoming uploads, then definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you do you want to see all of these outfits styled up or you want to be able to save them as pictures then definitely also make sure to follow me on Instagram because that is where I always post my outfits every single day and I'll most likely always have the quickest links uploaded on my stories there. So without further ado let's just jump right in and I'll start with the first outfit that I'm wearing. Okay so this is today's outfit and for me this is one of those very casual everyday outfits you could wear you know just for a coffee run to catch up with some friends or just something very casual every single day, but it still looks very elevated. What I love about this outfit is the linen blouse because this just makes this whole thing so comfortable, breathable, and you just, you know, you don't sweat, you don't heat up, it's just perfect. So the linen shirt is relatively new to my wardrobe. This is from Naked. Um, they have that in the current collection and I think it's something that they always sell all year round. But especially during spring summer, these are just one of those staple pieces I always reach for. So I'll leave my Naked haul linked because I have a discount code in there. And if that still works, which I think it does, then you will be pleased to um, try that out. But yeah, this is the linen shirt. I absolutely adore this one. It is just so comfortable. I love the fit. I love everything about it. Um, the shorts are from and other stories and as you can see they're like this satin um, finish I would say and they are kind of like a paperback style shorts and then they have this belt. I love the color. They're from and other stories in case I haven't said that already um, and I bought them last year but they still have them in stock and they brought these back and let me tell you these are just the best shorts. I'm wearing them non-stop. They're so comfortable, yet they do look very elevated and I just absolutely adore them. And this combination in particular for me is something that, you know, you can't ever go wrong with. Like if you do not know what to wear in a season, then this is one of those outfits I would put on. Um, I've tried to keep it very casual. So my bag is my Coach Tabby bag, which for me is just one of those like very casual shoulder bags. Um, I'm wearing it with my June slides, which are just these like tan little leather slides. They're kind of dupes. 40 MS ones um, and then my sunglasses are from Prada and I got them a few months ago and I've been wearing them non-stop. I feel like they just look so chic. I love the big cat eye. They're actually like a toy toy shell color so they're actually brown but I just think they look absolutely gorgeous. It just feels a bit stupid having them on inside so I'm just going to leave them on my head for now. And then for the jewellery, I'm just going to mention that once because this is going to stay the same throughout all of the outfits. So I'm wearing this little pearl choker that my boyfriend gifted me and then also this like um, gold little sparkly necklace, also a gift from my boyfriend. I'll try to find similars to leave a link down below, but this is what I'm wearing. I've been obsessed with this combination. And then these little hoop pearl earrings. I just love them. I find them so chic and I just absolutely adore them. I got them for my birthday. Again, I'm going to find similar ones to leave linked. Um, I also have this like little pearl bracelet and this little um, Monica Vinita friendship bangle. I love this combination. I've been wearing this every single day, so it's going to stay the same um, and I'm going to find alternatives to link down below. Okay, so this is my next look. I am absolutely obsessed with it. For me, this is everything I love in one and it is just so adorable that I literally can't cope with it. So the top is obviously the most adorable thing and it is from in other stories. It's just like light blue color and I just love baby blues. It has this gigantic bow in front that you literally can't miss and I think it just looks so stylish and architectural. We have this halter neck detail which is just absolutely gorgeous because we get a free back and I think it just looks so chic and feminine. 
And to go more with the whole 50s pinup vibes, I decided to go with this pair of shorts, which is from Self Portrait. Um, these, I think, are old, and I do not think they sell these anymore, so I'm going to find an alternative to leave a link down below. But, but what I loved about these is this big belt, which really cinches me in at the waist and kind of gives a more retro look. And then we have got the embroidery to bring back the femininity and girliness of the bow. I just feel like it matches really well and then to kind of make it a bit more sporty I went for my baby pink vans. I love pink and blue as a combination. I feel like the vans really make this outfit more wearable. For me obviously this would be an everyday outfit but I feel like you could also wear this on like a night out or if you're going out for drinks with some friends, uh, go for cocktails, um, evenings out in the summer. I feel like this would be really nice to wear to a bar. Um, and then I've got my DNG Sicily with it, mainly because of the pink and blue and it matches really well with the vans. But it adds a more luxurious vibe to the whole outfit and makes it more put together. Okay, so the next look is definitely going to turn some heads, probably because I prejudged both of these items. So first of all, the shorts, I pretty much destroyed them in my Zara haul and said that there was no use for this piece of clothing to exist. Um, however, I've really fallen in love with them and I'm actually pretty much obsessed with them. And I'm going to tell you exactly why in a second. Um, I just quickly want to talk about the blouse. This is from an other stories and as you can see it's this like satin material. It has got big shoulder padding which I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of but I do love this like floral detail. And in general I feel like if you put these items together it just looks very chic and elegant. And I previously wore this with um, a pair of like satin shorts from another stories, which I like the look of, but I feel like this just goes so much better because both of these pieces have an ever so slight like old granny vibe to it. But especially because these shorts are like so high waisted and they're so super short, which I criticized earlier or when I first got them because I thought they could be nice for work. However, I think they're totally not, but they function so well in making these like um, slightly granny, very puffy, very like girly, over, like not oversized, but over dramatic pieces of clothing work because the tweed picks up really nicely on these like materials and fabrics and the colors and I just love it and tweed is always nice against like softer materials such as like mesh, satin, um, silk, these kind of things. But then since they're so short and like kind of like hot pants, they make it more youthful, more playful, and it just works really well together. And I actually really love this combination. I've wear I've been wearing these shorts with loads of tops and I just actually really, really like them. I'm wearing them in a size medium, which is definitely um, very roomy for me, but I figured maybe that way I could get some extra um, in length. Um, I'm not 100% sure you do have to do that. You could probably just stick to your regular size and it would be fine. But I personally don't like being too exposed, so I like them to be a bit roomy. Um, the blouse from another stories I already mentioned. I've paired my Chloe Drew back with it. Uh, this exact color combination I feel like was very limited in Chloe, so I'm going to try and find something similar. But I feel like the Drew back has been discontinued, so you could potentially just replace it by the Chloe Tess. I feel like it would work equally well um, and I've got my Tory Burch flats on. I just felt like these go really nicely with it. Um, I love the long leg that it creates and yeah, I just really, really like this look. So wanted to throw that in. Okay, this next outfit is one of my favorites because it's so versatile and I've been getting so much use out of it. So it's this little boucle dress from H&M and I showed that in my H&M haul so I'm also going to leave that one linked. Um, but yeah, it's a very affordable dress. It's sleeveless, it's short, um, but not too short and I've just been wearing this everywhere and there are so many ways of styling this dress. Today I'm wearing it with some vans. Basically just because I feel like it would go really nicely with some white trainers but mine currently are looking horrible and I'm in the process of restoring them and searching for new trainers as well. So as long as I have no white trainers, whoops, just gonna use my Vans but I'm gonna leave um, some alternative options linked down below. And then my DNG Sicily bag just because it goes so nice with it and for me this is the perfect everyday outfit. I feel like the dress itself is very versatile and by pairing it with trainers you make it more youthful and casual whereas you could totally also dress this up. So just for showing you an alternative, I thought I would throw on these 
um, little ballet flats which are from H&M and as you can see they're bootleg as well and then they have a black cap and they look very classy and elegant and I would wear this outfit to work like that maybe with a bigger bag. I've actually brought two more bags to show you just to see how versatile this dress is so like this you could make it more casual or again with um, the vans or with some other like pink ballet flats you could easily style this with the Chloe Drew bag. There are so many ways of styling this dress. I've wanted to work to a wine fest to coffee meetings to just very casual events and I just went pretty much everywhere so this is why I love this and I wanted to include it because I feel like there's just one piece you want to have new in your closet this season and this is the one that you could potentially get the most use out of because you have one piece you have an instant outfit and you have multiple ways of wearing it okay so my next outfit is this one and this is pretty much the exact one that I wore in Munich and I absolutely adored it I feel like it's a very chic smart casual look like a casual friday look or something you could wear to work and after work and for me this is one of those staple outfits you're going to reach for a lot during spring summer so i definitely wanted to include it so i'm wearing this cotton button down shirt which is this like blue and white um striped shirt and i really like this one this is so classic this is something you see pretty much everywhere every year and for me this is one of those like very much oh money like quiet luxury pieces it's a staple the quality of this one is so nice it's from naked it has these like very um long exaggerated um cuffs or hems no cuffs you call them um so i've rolled them up so um that they're not too exaggerated and i actually really like it like that it's quite comfortable roomy and it's breathable so yeah i really like it um and then the shorts are from zara i bought them in my zara haul and i love them because they're a bit longer for me they're the perfect like city chic um summer shorts and then I went with this like little belt to kind of tie it in and this one's from Letelier, it's super old, um, it reminds me a bit of the Gucci Horsebit belt. Again, I'm going to try and find alternatives but yeah, just something to tie this in. My big Prada sunglasses, I feel like just really out of it. For shoes and bags I went really classy, so the belly flats that I'm wearing are these like leather um, flats with the nude and then the black cap. I've been getting so much wear out of them, they're a perfect Chanel dupe and I feel like they're very much on trend in 2023 so by adding, whoops, by adding these to a very like timeless outfit you do make it up to date without it being trendy. It's like a very classy piece but it adds a certain spotlight to the 2023 trends. And then for the bag, I chose to go with this straw tote from Fairfax and Favor. I've been wearing this to work and pretty much whenever I needed to go like shopping or run errands and I just really needed a purse where I could store things in because it goes with everything. A basket bag is the most classy thing to wear during spring summer and a very affordable alternative to designer handbags. Um, because I realize, you know, you can't always splurge that much, but you still want to get a decent quality and the Fairfax and Paper is perfect when it comes to like quality and price point. So we've got this very classy uh, basket style and then we have got the black leather details. It has a gorgeous like reinforced button with these like um, little gold novels so you can actually put it on the ground. I love the handles and I love that it is all lined. So you don't really find that often with these types of basket bags but it has a proper like suede inside it has a pocket on the inside and it also has like a long strap so you could wear this um, on your shoulder or crossbody and yeah i just really love this bag and totally this outfit for me is one of those that is never going to go out of style okay so this is my next outfit and I just feel like a princess in this. This is my Blair World of Hamptons outfit. I've been putting this together and with like the ballet flats and the headband and the pink bag. And I looked in the mirror and was like, this very much reminds me of the one that Blair wore in the Hamptons episode, only that she had like the big belt and there was some green and I feel like a headscarf involved. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, it just totally gave me the vibe, but it's cuter than that. So the dress is from Pretty Affluent. So this is one of the handmade dresses from Frances, um, who is the owner of the brand. It's a little shop on Instagram, so I'm going to leave her Instagram page uh, linked in the um, 
description box. This is called the Celine dress and I got this for my birthday from my dad. He was so sweet. He knows I love her designs and styles and he ordered this for my birthday and I honestly can't cope with the fact that he did. Um, so with these dresses you can either get like a regular size of the rail or you could select custom size which is what I did. I don't remember exactly what length I gave her but I've I asked her to do it slightly longer. I'm going to leave the length that I gave her a link down below as well because I feel like the dress just looks so perfect. Like this length is everything that I want. I fell absolutely in love with the box pleats of this dress because it just makes it so swishy and voluminous and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love the floral print on it. I love the little straps. I just love everything about it. It fits like a glove and this is just a work of art. I absolutely adore this. Um, I went with this little pink uh, Teddy Blake bag because I wanted something small and pink to go with it. I feel like this just works so well. I think my DNG would maybe work as well, but I feel like it's a bit big for the whole like cute vibe that you want to give. So for me, this would be a perfect occasion wear outfit, something that I would wear to like a summer party, something more formal, something um, more dressed up, or I'm just definitely going to take this on holiday, wear this to date nights, to any like fancy restaurants. This is absolutely everything that I love. I've paired this little um, pink satin hatband with it. I was debating whether it was too much or not, but I put it on and I was like, no, this is absolutely perfect. Um, and then I, oops, I keep hitting these like candle holders. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, for my flats, I chose the ones from Terry Birch because I just wanted to go all pink and I feel like it just adds to the whole luxury vibe. And yeah, I really love this outfit and this is just making me so happy. Like. Okay, so my next outfit is this dress from Forever New and it is this gorgeous like linen dress in this like beigey, like very natural color. I love the long sleeves and I love this little tie detail. I just feel like this is one of those very classy dresses that screams summer in Tuscany, but at the same time I feel like you could make this workwear appropriate. And you could wear this every single day to run errands, but also to go for nicer dinners. It's just one of those dresses that transforms so easily in summer. And I feel like generally in summer, like the lines between like day and night kind of vanish because everything's just happier, more laid back and warm. And yeah, you just really don't have to overthink it that much. So yeah, the dress is from Forever New. It has the most gorgeous quality and it has this like reinforced hem. It just gives it such a nice flow to it and it just really drapes nicely or it makes the dress drape nicely. So yeah, really loving this one. So for my back, I chose to go with my coach Tabby. I feel like again, this just goes so nicely with it. It's very relaxed and laid back. Um, and then for my shoe choice, I went with two pairs of shoes, so I'm not 100% sure which one I would choose. I've worn this multiple ways already. I went with like white sneakers with my bands, with these like strappy little heels, um, with wedges. It looks incredible. But um, these are just one of those shoes that I would wear on an every single day basis. So first off, I got the brown June slides, which you will have seen in the beginning of the video, and they just go with everything. But I also wanted to show you a bit more variety and this is why I chose these. There are these like sling bags um, and nude with a white cap and I feel like they just go equally nice as well and it kind of just depends what you prefer or what style you want. If you wanted a bit smart I would go for the sling bag whereas if you want it more casual I would go obviously for these slides. But yeah I feel like there are so many ways you could actually style up this dress and yeah I just wanted to you know show it. Okay so this is my next outfit and again one of those that I would wear pretty much every single day. Um, it is a tweed dress or like a boucle dress which is from Abercrombie and this one's a more thin material um, than the typical boucle you would expect. So it's really nice to wear during spring summer and I've got it in a tall version even though I am not at all but this way I can also make this dress work for work. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I really like it. It's a little pinup style. It's something that I, uh, is a pinup, pinafore. <laughs> it's a little pinafore style, um, which I don't wear a lot, but whenever I do, I really like it. And I've paired this with this blouse, which is from Zara. It's super old, but I've seen that coats do a very similar one, which is even nicer in like the material. So I'm going to leave that one linked. 
um, and a total I just love this outfit it really reminds me of Camille um, from Emily in Paris I feel like this is something she would totally wear which is why I went for my ballet flats again um, the nude ones with a black cap I feel like these are very Parisian and they just really add to the look and to keep it a very casual summer outfit I wanted to show you this bag because I've just recently got this and I think it's absolutely adorable. I found this on Aces and it's actually from Topshop. It's this very casual little tote bag. The one that you kind of see all the cool girls wearing. They will always have these like tote canvas bags. Um, and this one is fully made with pearls. Like not fully, it also has um, the fabric, but it also has a lot of pearls, um, which just makes this bag more elevated for a tote bag. So if you want a very casual tote bag, something very affordable, something very inexpensive that is quite affordable to just throw on to keep all of your stuff in um, whether you maybe go to like a beach bar or something and you want to have like a towel bikini sunscreen you don't want to ruin any bags um, by putting these kind of things in then this would be perfect or if you're going to the market and you you know you just want to stuff it with a load of things um, then this is perfect or if you're going out and you want to carry like an extra jacket um, to bring for the evening then this is perfect to just throw all of that in and to chunk it in but with it being all pearls it just looks so much more elevated and nicer than these like regular tote bags and yeah i'm very very happy with this outfit i love it and i'm going to wear this non-stop i could not not include a white dress in this video as this is what i just love to wear and by saying that i realized my boucle dresses were white as well so you see, I love to wear white dresses during spring summer and this is just one of those very comfortable ones that you can throw on. It's from Abercrombie. I love these like ruched details around the sleeves. It really adds structure and dimension to the outfit while still being a very plain cotton dress. I was debating whether or not to include such a basic outfit in the video, but I was just recently wearing this exact combination when I went um, for a coffee with a friend and there were three guys stopping by complimenting on the outfit on my outfit and one of them said I looked like a princess and I was like <laughs> thank you but no thanks um but yeah I just really felt like now this outfit is like forever my princess outfit but yeah I just really love the dress it's from Abercrombie it has pockets it's so comfortable um you could really just sit in it and it won't crease so that I really liked um wearing it with my Chloe Tess is like very casual like throw on back and then my dune slides again and I realized I showed both of these pieces to you but I really think that investing in like good shoes and bags um, is so important and when you have them you know you could interchange the outfit and you will always find accessories to match with it and I just really love it and this is how I would style it so why show you something new just to show you something new when I could just show you new ways of styling what I already told you would be a good investment so yeah I'm really loving this Honestly, I'm really loving this outfit and I hope you do too. The video definitely lacks some good old occasional outfits, so I definitely wanted to throw this in. I have been obsessed with this dress since I got it in my Aces haul and I thought I wouldn't have an occasion to wear it too, but then I decided to wear it as my birthday dress on my actual birthday when I was in Venice and I just love this outfit so much and I just I fell in love so so much that I can't ever think of not wanting to like own this dress and I really really love it it's from forever new again and it's kind of like organza material but it has a more like um, a pre tone to the florals in it which is a bit unusual for me but I just really like it and I like to wear a few different colors and I think it blends in very well in my whole scheme and it looks nice against my complexion so I do really like this dress and it's something different for me but it's still very much in my comfort zone I feel like a princess in it and yeah I just absolutely love it I'm wearing it in a size UK 10 which is a size up for me um, basically they didn't have it in my size when I ordered it and now that I have it I honestly don't feel like it's too big like it definitely is a bit roomy around the waist but because it is so structured when it comes in at the waist like you actually can't tell whether there's room or not but it makes it more comfortable and easier to wear and I just I don't really mind not having sized in my usual size in this so you know if it's not available in your size 
you won't be sorry if you order a size up. I have decided to pair this with these heels and I've kind of saved them for this outfit because I just feel like they look their full glory with them. But they are these like very basic white strappy sandals with a block heel and they're from Stradivarius. And they were so inexpensive, they were $29.99 and honestly they look like proper Bottega heels. I love them, they're my new running shoe, they are absolutely incredible and they would have looked amazing with all of the outfits I've shown you so far. So if any of the outfits you want to dress up for night, then just switch out the shoes and go for these like strappy heels and that's perfectly good to go and yeah. I've got, I went for my d and Sicily bag just because I think sometimes you've got to bring back the classics just to fully embrace it and I feel like there's no other combination than this, like I would always feel like a million dollars wearing this so yeah absolutely in love okay last but not least i thought i'd throw in a bonus look which brings this video to a total of 11 looks i do have so many more to go but honestly i'm running out of breath and i've already been filming for two hours so i um hope that you appreciate this last one which is definitely also for the people who like to dress more modest who want an everyday look and again this is something you could dress up and down so i'm wearing these very casual um white like linen trousers from naked and the top is also from naked i just love linen in summer which is why so many of these pieces are from naked because they really have good linen and i honestly just really like them I love the fit of these trousers, I've been wearing them so often already. They are great to wear to work but also to just throw on when you don't want anything clingy and for me I personally like to go to the gym a lot and whenever I get showered and then instantly have to get dressed to go home, I want something that is not clingy and these trousers are just perfect and yeah I just really really love this look, um, paired this with this cute little linen crop top. Um, love the puff sleeve and i also love this like square neck i've been really getting into them it has a cute bow that you tie at the back i fed this with this teddy black bag um which i've had for such a long time and whenever i pull it out it really gives me a bit of like irma's like kelly vibes um, and then I just chose to wear this with the white heels again because these trousers are slightly longer and I just feel like the fit of them looks even nicer if you have a little heel but they work just as well with uh, ballet flats, with trainers, white trainers, again it looks so chic with this, uh, more casual. You could also wear it with the um, Fairfax and Favors drawback if you're running errands and you really want a casual outfit. And yeah, I just really like this one. It's the perfect one to pull out every single day. So guys, these were my favorite outfits for the current spring summer season. Let me know which one was your favorite and if there are like any occasions you miss the outfits for because I would love to do like a dedicated video on that. And then I'll say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.